They say kids don't go outside anymore. And with all the cool stuff to see, it makes you wonder why. So we were thinking, maybe kids just don't know how to go outside. So we headed out to show you how to take a hike. Our first stop is the family farm in Ned, Pennsylvania. Here we have a nice chunk of land to wander, but you'll learn throughout the video that you don't have to own your own land or drive hundreds of miles to have a good time outside. Chances are there's a local park right around the corner where you can find your own adventure. Hey, what are we taking on the hike? Uh, well, we're going to want some snacks. So we'll take an apple and I have some local granola and we'll want some water and that flashlight probably. Got our safety whistle. In case we get into some trouble, we can make a loud noise. Binoculars in case we see something cool. And first aid. Can we take Thank this you. ball too? Absolutely. So when you go on a hike, it's best to wear layers because if you get hot, you can take layers off. But if you don't wear layers and you get cold, you have nothing to put on. Once you have everything you think you need, Really the most important part is just getting outside and enjoying it. And for us, part of that means laughing. Hiking joke. There is a fungus among us. Are we hiking yet? Scat uh, is a fancy word for animal poop, and you can figure out what kind of animals live in the area based on the poop that you find and you can even figure out if the animals are nearby because if it's warm then it's fresh and luckily Michaela here volunteered to touch it. I'll touch it. <laughs> Yay! Good job. A walking stick's a cool accessory to have when you're hiking. It helps you stay steady and if you don't have one you can usually find one while you're out. Good find. If you're wondering why our pants are tucked into our socks, it's because ticks live in tall grasses. Ticks are parasites that spread diseases. I want those crawling on my pants. What? RJ, I found another logging road down here. Anatomy what? lesson on our hike. I found hike. a logging road just up that hill. They're everywhere. I'm trying to find them. There's nothing wrong with bringing your cell phone with you on your hike. You can use the different apps and tools to make your experience even more enjoyable. Like here, Ree's using her camera to take a picture. And cell phone cases are really good for holding woolly bears. My cell phone has a compass app and we're using it to find out which way is north. That leads back to the farmhouse. Hey, it looks like it's that way. So after a rousing game of hay bale tag, we head back to Ohio to check out Brandywine Falls, part of the Cuyahoga Valley National Park. If you're not really used to going hiking in the woods, start off easier on a trail. And we're about to hike the trail down to Brandywine Falls and we're going to check out the waterfall. Yeah. Yeah. From the falls, we head to the Beaver Marsh, which is a particularly awesome part of the Towpath Trail. This way to the Beaver Marsh. Alrighty. Our favorite part about the Towpath Trail, and especially the Beaver Marsh, is you're guaranteed to see some wildlife. Nom, 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 Let's see if the water's frozen. Yep. 
It's frozen. We, finally, we made it to the beaver marsh. Hey, Matt, what you looking at? A goose. So it's mid-November here at the Beaver Marsh in the Cuyahoga Valley, and there's not a whole lot of animals out right now, but in the summer there's so many different types of animals to see. Like singing birds, and turtles, and muskrats, and insects. There's that turtle again. And herons. And herons wading. And herons flying. Perched herons perched ducks, swimming ducks, duck families, oh muskrat, snakes, and frogs, 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 and a toad. Oh, and of course the beaver. Hi beaver. Thanks for coming. Be careful on the cliffs on your next hike. That's weird. How did he know we were going to Whip's Ledges? Nevertheless, we should take his advice, because as you can see here, a few steps off the path could be disastrous. And signs like this one are posted for a reason. Always take them seriously. You don't want to be that person in the picture. On any hike, if you're the leader, help the people out behind you. Be careful of that rock, it's really slippery. In the fall, when there's all this leaf litter on the trail, you really want to make sure you're checking your footing because it can be really slippery, number one. And underneath the leaves, there could be things like roots waiting to trip you up. It's also a good idea not to hike with your hands in your pockets because that's a good way to lose your teeth. How did you get over there? I don't know. Uh, when you go on a hike, you want to try your best not to disrupt nature. Not cool, Shelly and Jamie. This is lame! Pretty, but unnecessary. What did this tree ever do to you? Hey look, more scat! Let's see, there's berries, and hair, and uh, looks like some seeds. Around here, that could only be one thing. Coyotes. So you could sit at home and watch a TV show about caves, or you could get up off the couch and go find one for yourself. What do you like most about hiking? I like the adrenaline rush. I like the adventure. I like the exercise. I like the peace and quiet. I like the fresh air. I like the beauty of it. Well, that's what we love about hiking, and now it's your chance to get outside and figure out what you love about hiking. And if you can, maybe you can post a video response or at least leave a comment about your experience. But most importantly, get outside and have some fun.